happening. Welcome back to This Morning. We're with Donal in the kitchen where he's making the perfect midweek meal. Please do tell us more. Do yes, we are making a fabulous midweek pasta that mm. is very simple to do. It is a celebration of spring ingredients. So we've got asparagus, we've got peas, loads of lemon zest to bring it to mm. life. Mm. But ultimately, it starts off... So first off, first step, get your mm. pasta on to cook. And while the pasta is cooking, you're going to get cracking with the rest of the you sauce. You can do everything else in the time it takes... Oh, Absolutely. Like and I love this. those pasta recipes. Yes. Because they're the ones that just give you a little bit of... You feel we're like you're doing something in the kitchen. We're not going to set the smoke alarm off, are we? No, we're just keeping an eye on it. We're griddling oh, our asparagus. Is that what we're, grid we're griddling them? Yeah. No, no, I've done a cooking show in the past safety. where the uh, alarm went off. We had to leave the studio. It was quite <laughs> embarrassing, yeah. <laughs> I used to do these, like, um, tours and cooking tours, but we'd often do them in theatre venues, and I'd always set off the <laughs> alarm, and they'd hate me coming yeah, in yeah, to do yeah. it. Um, but, yes, look, we, we want that smoke and we want that sizzle because that's what's going to give you the flavour. Any brassicas, any beautiful vegetables like um, asparagus, when you add smoke, it just intensifies the flavour and you get much more. Um, we'll come to the asparagus. I'm going to try... I'm going to turn them off now. Um, but we leave them to cook and get that char. Mm -hmm. In our pan over here, so you've your pasta on, you've got your asparagus cooking, you've got Check. your butter in the pan, and we're going to start by infusing our lovely lemon zest into that butter. Mm -hmm. So you want to do this quite quickly. So uh, mainly because you don't want the lemon to burn. Yes. Um, and right. it does have a tendency to do that. Yep. You could go garlic in here, you could go a whole load of different options, but we're adding um, lovely cream to bring this mm. together. And essentially what you want to do at this point Oh, that slow. smells amazing. It's so Start good. Waft. Ooh. And go heavy. Like I always see recipes being written where it says like the, ju or the juice and the zest of one lemon. Go hard. Like go three lemons. Oh, and really? the zest of three lemons. They're gonna really blow your mind punch, with, yeah. with really great citrusy flavours. Mm. So you'll see that'll come up nice and uh, nice and gently. Try and keep the heat low on this okay. because otherwise it'll split and you don't want to go there. No. Um, so allow that lemon zest to, uh, to sit for probably like five or six minutes just to infuse. And like I said, your pasta's cooking away nicely, salted water. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, we're going to cook up some salami. Now, this is probably not what you're going to do with your traditional charcuterie, but it, I love crispy salami. Yes. In, okay. in, uh, and it only Great. takes minutes to... So this is just your regular salami you'll get in any sort of like charcuterie set. Yeah. Really gorgeous. You can have it just as it is, but in pasta dishes, if you crisp it up in the pan, it just gives it texture. It so brings out the saltiness. So is, this, is this what it ends up looking like? That's what it looks so crispy. Oh, it's really crispy. Right? Mm. And it takes seconds. So you want a nice hot pan. Mm -hmm. You don't need too much oil because it's got quite a lot but of fat. But you do need a bit of oil. You do need a okay. bit of oil. Just but I mean, it'll start to render out the fat so you mm -hmm. don't need to worry too much about it. So your salami is crispy. Mm -hmm. You've got your creamy mm. sauce. Right? Good. Mm. Really great. Um, let's talk about the pasta you can use here. Any short pasta works really well. We've got casareche. I don't know uh, if you You've heard of it Bless before. You. Casareche. <laughs> Come on, casareche. Um, but this, any short grain pasta that's going to soak up the sauce. And because we have a lovely sort of creamy sauce coming to the air, you want to make sure each it's beautiful absorbent, yeah, it's strand really gets coated. Dripping in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, talking about asparagus. Now, you could serve this just as it is. We're going to add some peas in here. We're going to add a little bit of cheese. Um, we're talking about celebrating these sorts of ingredients at this mm -hmm. time of year because we're looking for fresher flavours after all the soups and stews of the winter. Um, a little bit of cheese, a little bit of uh, green peas are lovely and you can take them straight from the freezer, stick them in by all means. Lovely. Really simple. If you weren't going to add salami, if you wanted a vegetarian version, yeah. would you just take the salami out or would you add something else to replace just it? Just leave it out. One okay. thing I often use as a nice uh, replacement is crispy, I know this sounds ridiculous, but crispy, like pan grattato, like crispy breadcrumbs oh. with garlic and rosemary. With the texture. Texture. Uh, and, you, okay. and, you, and your rosemary will kind of... Gives you that crunch. That gives you the sweet. crunch, mm. gives you the sort of meat without having to have salami or something like that. So it's a lovely way to finish your dish. Nice. Um, look, this is thickening up, as you can see. Let's talk about the asparagus. Now, mm -hmm. asparagus is in season. It's coming in smack bang into the season. Um, let me show you. I'm sure you may know this, but to get your perfect asparagus, to, you want to cut off the woody ends. These are not, uh, not very enjoyable to eat. So the best way of finding that out is to snap, and where it breaks is a good point as to where to slice off the Lovely. wooden ends, okay? So you so can do that. So the spear will tell you which way to go. The spear, listen to the spear. Have faith yeah. in the spear. It's like Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Like something from Game of Thrones. <laughs> exactly. <isn't it>? That's <laughs> it. I, we're, I'm in the middle of watching uh, the full Star Wars with my children. Oh, they are oh, loving it. It's yeah, so good. Day. So it's all about the force at the moment. So yeah, yeah there'll be asparagus spears everywhere. <laughs> um, blanch your asparagus for one to two, three minutes in boiling water. Yep. Uh, and then you're going to take them out, shock them in some cold water and then you're going to pop them on the griddle. And to all keep the green. To keep the green. And actually, I was away and I, we were doing a lot of barbecuing outside and 
I absolutely love this. This method is literally, I'll take any greens like brassicas, um, asparagus, spring, uh, spring onions are lovely. Yeah. Pop them onto the barbecue. And the trick what we're going to do, actually, let me get my pasta in. The yeah. trick that we're going to do with our um, lovely greens is that we're going to serve them in a vinaigrette. So it's a post marinade, shall we say, mm. okay? A post marinade. A post marinade. So we've got our lovely um, sauce coming together. And you can see, like, this just comes together really quickly. You've got your pasta cooked out. Now it's about uh, bringing this to life, okay? We talked about this post vinaigrette, and that comes um, and is quickly made. I might ask you, Kat, if yeah, you wouldn't come on. mind. We've got olive oil, we've got uh, white wine vinegar, mm -hmm. we've got garlic, and we've got whatever herbs you have to answer. Stick it all in mm -hmm. and give it a good whisk up. Fine. Um, the great thing about this is it's a really vibrant way. So, like, all our kind of deep, rich flavours are happening over here, but this is what's going to elevate this and give you this blast of Why flavor. is it called a post-vinaigrette? Because uh, I just made Trist that up, Ben. Oh, OK. <laughs> no, <that's fine. laughs> but it is one of those things that, you know... It's, don't question the chef. Don't question the chef. But it, it's what I've been doing a lot with, um, with barbecued veggies. And because you have those sort of dark, earthy flavours, when you add something fresh and vibrant, it just elevates it. And we're going to serve it alongside the top. We've got a little bit of uh, chopped fennel in there, another great kind of ingredient that's knocking around at this time of year. You can shave it, you can chop it like we have. Give that a taste. What do you think? We mm -hmm. good? Yeah. yeah. So all I do now is um, dress up our, our, Ooh, our yeah. pasta. This is our baseline of creamy, gorgeous pasta. We're going to take that beautiful uh, dressing. The cat has done a well fabulous done. job. My goodness. Yeah. And we're, I mean, typically, I would uh, take a big Pyrex dish and pop all my greens in and get it, all, it in. Uh, get it all involved. But just to make life a little bit easier, we're popping it in the pan. Immediately, it starts... You can smell it. Like yeah. It starts to lift and elevate. Um, OK, so we've got crispy, beautiful um, bits of our fantastic salami. Well, that's over good. Chop. Just mm. break and this that beautiful. Good, yes, yeah. it's great. Uh, what else do we have? A bit of rocket, which is yeah. really lovely over the top. Um, another fresh hit. This is the kind of thing that's ideal for midweek. It comes together really yeah. quickly. Um, and we're going to finish it off with our lovely little uh, asparagus spears, which I'm just going to have to do with my hands because I can't. Right. Got, I haven't got my tongues. Um, but yes, really simple, really fresh. I want you to get in there and give it a go. Um, I promise, uh, untouched by human hands. Let me know what you think, okay? A little bit of Parmesan over the top. Thank you, bit Angel. Of oh, yeah, for sure. Guys. Really, really good and really simple stuff as well. So I love this sort of, you know, the flavours. Oh, she's going for it. Oh, oh my yeah. God, Cass. Yeah. <laughs> You've been on holidays. Yeah. <laughs> love that. But look, mm. as I said, really simple pasta dish. Midweek winner and one that you can make. Oh, Definitely try it. Lemon zest through the cream mm. is delicious. Yeah. yeah, and it just really. infuses it and gives you kind of little layers of crunchiness, little layers of smokiness. And the Simple. fact you can do it during the time it takes to boil the pasta... This is it. ..is sensational. They're, they're my favourite kind of recipes, and they're the ones that get us through the midweek. So, um, yeah, absolutely. A winner. So good. Well done. That That's is delicious. absolutely delicious. The texture as well of the, mm. the crispy salami, I love. Yeah, so mm. Donna, thank you so much thank for you. all of today's recipes. Uh, just go to the free this morning app. Ah, sorry. <laughs> what a mouthful. Do you want me uh, to take you? this, Ben? Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, now then, earlier this month,